the Deshaun Watson saga isn't over and no matter what Miami Dolphins general manager Chris Greer says, Watson is still in play and the Cherry fans talk about. On Friday, it was announced that Watson will not face any criminal charges for his off-field problems dealing with harassment. There are still civil suits but not having the onus of a criminal investigation looming, the path to getting traded just got easier. Last year, the Dolphins were the top landing spot for Watson. It was reported that Watson would waive his no-trade clause in the Brian Flores infatuation and Chris Greer infatuation and the Stephen Ross infatuation ended only when the trade deadline passed. Now, here we are again. Watson cleared and a week or two removed from Greer making the statement that the Dolphins have closed the door on a trade for the top 10 quarterback. Now, fans want to know why that remains the case. Why is Deshaun Watson, now clear of criminal chargers not in the plans for the Dolphins when they were so ready to make him their franchise quarterback? There is no answer for that one. Miami seems committed to Tua but is that because they had no other options? Russell Wilson moved from Seattle to Denver in a blockbuster trade that makes Denver better. The Colts shipped Carson Wentz to the Commanders, Washington, Miami is going to roll with Tua Tungavailoa. Miami would be a better football team with Watson. They would be closer to winning now but it would be costly. It would eat up their cap space and deprive the Dolphins of draft capital but let's be honest with ourselves, the Rams didn't care at all when they traded for Matt Stafford. It worked out pretty well and that Super Bowl victory will ease the problem of losing draft picks. Would Watson do the same for Miami? Maybe but the AFC is tough and the quarterback talent is very good. Miami will need a great cast around him. They have the pieces but quarterback might just be the one that is missing. This is the argument for trading for Watson. It is a big splash. It would define Stephen Ross's ownership of the Dolphins. As much as riding with Tua will define it as well. Trading for him could eventually cost jobs, not trading for him would as well. Miami is riding a razor wire when it comes to Watson talks. Whether they are internally over it or just saying it to keep the internal peace, Watson talk isn't going away but Miami may also find this out as well. They may not be where Watson wants to go now. Flores is gone and that entire mess is now what the Dolphins are dealing with. Did Watson want to play for Miami or Brian Flores? Would he want to play for Mike McDaniel? Would McDaniel want him to play for Miami? We may not know but what we do know is that until Watson is traded, this talk isn't going to end and Miami fans are going to remain divided. Emmanuel Ogba may no longer be a Miami Dolphins defensive end by this time on Wednesday and if the latest rumor has him leaving South Florida. Overrated? Not even close. Underrated? Absolutely. Emmanuel Ogba has been everything the Dolphins hoped he would be when they signed him in 2020 as a free agent. He was good in Kansas City and had promise in Cleveland but in Miami, he became a major player and now, he is about to get paid. According to Omar Kelly, the Dolphins could lose Ogba and Kelly is reporting that Ogba is leaning towards leaving the Dolphins. The chances of Ogba staying are not high and they really haven't been for a while. Ogba has maintained that he wanted to test the market. That isn't a surprise. Whether or not he brings an offer back to Miami to match is the question. If Ogba and his agent are saying that he is leaning towards leaving, then it wouldn't surprise me in the least. Why would any player facing free agency say they were close to staying in Miami or with any team? That would cost them money. Ogba may be leaning towards forcing the Dolphins to up any offer they may have made or make it clear that if they don't come to the table with something that is close to what might be offered he will leave. The Dolphins can either sign him before Wednesday or let him go. Over the next 48 hours, Ogba and his agent will have a much clearer idea of what his market will look like, what kind of money he could be seeing, and if the Dolphins are looking, seriously, to bring him back. Until then, yeah. He is leaning to leaving because he needs Miami to think that and in the end, he very well may just do, exactly that.